When God created man in the Garden of Eden, it was fellowship with him. Man's disobedience made God chase man out of the Garden of Eden. This brought separation of God from man. God loved us that he sent his only begotten son to die for the sin so that man can be transformed to his love. God has a purpose and reason why he created us. He has a calling for every one of his children. We need to grow spiritually to attain the higher calling of Christ. The more we grow spiritually in God, the more God will lift us higher in his grace. When God wants us to fulfill a divine purpose, God puts us through a series of tests to ensure we are ready for the journey. There is no promotion without an examination. This is why God has to test our faith, strength, and weakness to fulfill divine purpose. God will allow us to face many trials, but He promised He will be there with us. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 makes us understand that God did not promise that there will be no trials, but He promised that He would see us through it all. When the fire, waters, and storm of life come raging at us, God is always there to see us through it all. As children of God, we must stand firm on His word and the divine purpose He has given us. When God prepares you more for His purpose, He helps to strengthen your faith in Him. When we take a look at all the heroes in the Bible, starting from Abraham, Moses, Daniel, Joseph, Jesus, Apostle Paul, and the rest, they were faced with so many trials. They all passed the test, and that was why God did great miracles through them. They fulfilled divine purpose because they held firm in their faith in God. When things are so smooth and easy, how then can you know how great your faith is in God? When you face trials, it manifests the power of God over your life. This is divine evidence that indeed you serve a living God. God showcases His power through your trials. In the case of the three Hebrew men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they endured their trials and were thrown into the fiery furnace. God saved them and they were not hurt by the fire. Rather, God used the incident to show to the king a fourth person in the fire. At last, this made the king declare that the fourth looks like the Son of God. When God is preparing you more, He wants to show His power through you to destroy the plans of the devil over your life. God wants to see how strong we are when we face trial. Trials reveal our weakness and our strength. When God tests you, it will reveal your weakness and hidden sin you should work on. This is when you call on God to reveal all your weaknesses and work on it. When we work on our weaknesses and confess our hidden sin to God, God makes us stronger and gets us ready for the greater assignment. So like James chapter 1 verse 2 tells us, we should count it all joy when we go through different trials for God's sake. It is also during trials we are humble to have patience in the power of God. Every day as believers, we fight with our soul to take control instead of giving all to God. When God is testing us through trials, it makes us have that dependence on Him. When we totally depend on God, He then sees us through different trials and temptations we are passing through. There are so many times God sends trials to us to correct our sin and turn back to Him. When God is testing us, we might have a great reward. As believers in Christ, our greatest goal is to enter into the kingdom of God as Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says. When we endure the cross, the tribulation, trials, and persecution the world has thrown at us by not compromising our faith in God, but we live a holy and righteous life without stain or blemish, then we are assured of a beautiful home in heaven where we will reign with God forever. Apart from our heavenly reward, God will also bless us mightily here on earth. When God has blessed us after passing through a major trial, it makes people who are little or of no faith strengthened in the belief that God will save them when passing through their trials. 
and also makes unbelievers believe in the work of God. This makes them draw closer to the power of Christ. This means when we overcome the trials before us, God not only blesses us, He makes others see the blessing of God over us. Then we become a shining light and a testimony to others. When we pass through trials, God is preparing us so that we can grow more in His grace. The more we pass through different trials, the more we grow spiritually. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 2 tells us that as newborn babes, we as believers of Christ must desire sincere milk of God's word. When we overcome trials and temptation, we have a better spiritual experience and we grow more in the grace of God. When God wants to assign us on an assignment, especially when it involves leading people, He makes us face different trials. This preparation can break down every form of pride and ego. This subjects us to the power of God. It means everything we do or say must be subjected to the will of God. He has to try us if we are fully ready to take His assignment and lead the people, just as He did to Moses. Moses felt he could lead the children through force when he killed an Egyptian. God took him to the desert where he had to be patient and meek. The Bible records that he was the meekest man on earth. God did the same to David. David was in the wilderness tending his father's flock. He was forgotten and alone. God made him pass through the wilderness. He killed a lion and a bear when they came to attack the sheep he was tending to. This made him get prepared for the battle ahead, which was against Goliath. God had to take him through all these trials to prepare him for the battle against Goliath. When God has an important assignment for you, He has to prepare you adequately. It is left to you as believers to trust God during the period of trial and know that it will lead to more spiritual blessings. When we are tested by God, He will not tell us. However, God promises that when we face trials and temptation, He would be our strength. He also promised that He will not allow us to be tested more than we can handle. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, the human mind or soul cannot endure trials, so the power of the Holy Spirit needs to dwell in us so we can face whatever might come our way. It is important to know the difference between when God is testing and preparing us and when we are being punished for our evil doings. We need the discernment of the Holy Spirit to know when we are passing through trials. When we are involved in sin, then we should know we might be getting punished as Proverbs chapter 11 verse 21 says. Live a holy and righteous life and do God's will. When we do this, then we will have a clear conscience. So if any trials and temptation come our way, we will know that we shall prevail by the power of the Holy Spirit. When we go through trials, we must not sin or rebel against God. During our period of trial, God might be silent, but it doesn't mean He is not watching over us. As believers in Christ, this is when we should be prayerful and get closer to God. This is when we should study God's Word and meditate on it. The assurance of God's Word will be very helpful to pull us through all our predicaments. This is when we should give thanks to God. It might sound difficult to do all these during our trying periods, but when we go through this test, it is for a moment. At the end of our trials, God is going to renew us in all areas of our lives, which is our hope in Him.